What again, Coach? How uh, getting a win in that fashion, just walk me through your emotions. Yeah, yeah, it's... Um, the game like was uh, like a movie because uh, we knew that the pitch and the, it's not easy to play here, but the pitch and the, the quality of the pitch, the quality of also the, 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 the pitch is not so big. Mm -hmm. So we knew that, and uh, so we struggled a bit uh, in the beginning, but um, they didn't panic. Uh, and after that, we made few adjustments, and um, I was really happy that the, the guy embraced that. They were able to understand what we, we, we needed to do. And second half, we were in control in total control about uh, the way we were playing. Again, Kucho, yes, is, this is deflection, but for me, this is not by luck. It's because this is a reward about what uh, they did. And after that, the movie started again. So <laughs> we considered this goal. Uh, honestly, uh, I didn't watch the, the, the goal, so I cannot talk about it. But uh, what I felt is, and what I saw is the, the answer. Right away, instead of backpedaling, they try to score on the level. And, um, and again, Lucas Bravo, this is a kind of describe this kind of goal. This is, a, this is only quality, simple as that. But uh, I'm really, really proud of uh, the way we won this game because we had. Uh, Difficult moments where the emotion, our, our emotions uh, were too high, and so we lost a bit of composure at certain moments. But right away they were able to uh, to settle and to uh, and to stay on the task, and uh, they did it well. You talk about you guys controlled the second half. What changed from the first half where you guys were defending a lot to the second half where you guys were on the front foot? So we defended a lot in first half because uh, we didn't keep the ball enough at certain moments. We wanted to rush, but uh, with a desire to do well. Uh, second half, we, we had a good discussion in terms of emotions and uh, also tactical adjustment about uh, the way we wanted to attack to get the position of play. And uh, they did it well. They did it well. and. Um, we felt it on the bench that everything was fluid and, uh, and real. So, and when we conceded uh, chances, uh, I'm happy for Pat. I'm happy for Pat because uh, all the game that he played, that at certain moments he, he could have done better. And for me, he did good, but he could have done better at certain moments. But today, he, he helped. Us to, uh, for this one, so I'm really happy for him. How do you think your back line did against big forwards like Kai Kamara, like Casper Shabilko, um, and what, and all the all these guys? Uh, no, they did it well. <clears throat> they did it well. I'm happy for them because this is a good exercise for them. Because when they got, when they're gonna go back in their position, mm -hmm. they're gonna feel strong, stronger, and uh, and uh, Steven was really good in terms of not only in terms of uh, the way he was playing but also the way he was vocal the way he, he was the guy behind to to help the team uh, to speed up the play or to to slow down a bit the play with the line and uh, Malte and uh, and uh, and Shen also we had the moment where we were a bit in danger but uh, they fought, they fought, and also they played with the ball when it was the good moment. So, so I'm really happy for the back line, but uh, I'm really happy also for the team that at certain moment we were able to defend together. And the only way to achieve what we want to achieve is we attack together and we defend together. At a certain moment it was a little bit at the edge, but right away they were able to adjust and they did it. 
Coach, there was a couple uh, good chances there early in the second half. What did you see that you might have made a tactical change, you know, to either keep up the pressure or to switch, you know, going to the different sides? Well, listen, the, the, we, the, the tactical, change that, tactical change that we made in the second half uh, helped us to, uh, to have more control with the ball. After that, in terms of personal, I was in between to uh, maybe put a bit of uh, freshness or not. But um, we had the feeling with the staff that we were able to, uh, to score the goal and also to, to defend with a real intensity uh, when we had to do it. Because when you came in the game, when you, came from, when you come from the bench with this kind of game, this is not easy in terms of intensity. But uh, they adjusted well, and uh, tactically, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy for that. Three wins now, getting ready to play NYCFC next week. What's it, with this one now, going back home and then going back on the road, what is the message for the team now? No, they know, I told them, again, we have a lot of humility, we have to be, they have to be limitless. At the end of the day, it's, uh, I'm really happy that today is a one. To be really honest with you, I'm really, really happy today that they won this game away. Because this is the challenge that we gave them in the start. If we want to go far, we need to win this kind of game. And I told them since the beginning that home and away, we play our game, and after that, we'll see with the battle of all. But uh, again, if they want to be limitless, this is the way they have to do it. So I'm really proud of that. And you can hear that they are really happy also because they know, they know that New York City, all the time, I don't know how we're gonna play, but I want my players to have this spirit. And after that, we'll see, we'll see the outcome, but I want them to get the spirit. We'll go um, just quickly to folks online, we'll go Jonathan, then Bill. Do you wanna close us out? Great, thank you. Um, hi, Wilfred Jonathan here from MLSstocker.com. Mm. That, that goal, is is that one of the best you've seen from a player you've coached in person? I mean, where does that rank? Because that that's going to be making the rounds globally, not just in MLS. Yeah, yeah, for sure. This is my, uh, as, a, as, a, as a coach, this is uh, the first time for me. And it's funny because in the beginning of the year, I was talking with uh, with uh, Lucas because he had a few opportunities like this, and uh, I told him, "Hey, try it. If the, the the this is a logical play, try it. I have no problem with that." And uh, today he did it, and when the ball bounced, I saw the ball, and I was like, "He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it." And when he touched the ball, uh, fabulous ball, fabulous, fabulous goal. Sorry, so no, I'm happy for him. I'm happy for him, I'm happy for, for also the, the good message that the, for the team also, but um, yeah, for, as a coach, this is um, the best goal. <laughs> Bill, do you want to close us up? Yeah, that was, that was basically my question also. I mean, how rare is it to score that kind of goal from midfield? And I mean, you just smiled when the ball went in. You know, <laughs> this, this belief. Yeah, my son's gonna be happy because he often he he, he told me that um, I don't smile enough. So so on that one, when he touched the ball, what I like about his goal is yes, the the fact that he 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 decided to do it. But for me, the the pace of the ball, the pace of the way the ball was traveling was I have no word. So uh, again, this is beautiful and good, good for him and good for the team, but I'm happy. This, this is why also I do this job. And, and considering that Chicago scored so late, you were looking at, at a, probably an unsatisfying tie to that held up. How, how does, I mean, that kind of goal to give you a win, how much of a lift does that give you? <laughs> The music, the music is loud, actually. So you know, say, this is the spirit. But again, yes, the goal of Lucas. But before that, we were close to score the second goal. With uh, apparently the upside was not it was really tight. So again, uh, competitive spirit. Uh, we struggle at certain moments. We had to struggle to get this kind of moments. So 
We're done. We're done for the moment. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. We'll look to get a couple of players in as well.